Are you afraid of the boogeyman? Is he a monster that lurks in dark corners, haunting your dreams and chilling you to the core more and more as the sound of his footsteps get closer and closer? Until he is so close that you can feel his breath against your face and the fear is so great that it brings you to your knees. And when you wake up from your nightmare, do you feel paralyzed by fear and your heart which normally beats silently inside your chest beats like a thousand horses in your ears? My boogeyman didn't hide in closets or conceal himself in creepy spaces devoid of light. My boogeyman didn't appear only in nightmares. My boogeyman was real. His name was Water. There came a point when I stood at the edge of the swimming pool, staring into the heart of my nemesis. I could turn back, run and hide under the covers as I did so many times in the past. But I didn't. Not that time. I stood strong, looked him straight in the eyes, and dove in. Water swallowed me. He fought to resist me, but I fought harder. He pushed against me, but I pushed harder. As I broke through the surface and took my first breath, I felt more alive than ever. With each stroke, my arms pierced the belly of this beast that I had for so long cowered from. I slowly began to realize something. As I glided through the water, drops splashing against my skin, feeling exhilarated and free, I realized that it was not the water I feared, but my own perception of it that created that fear. The boogeyman can be scary. In life, he shows up in many different forms. Don't be afraid. Be bold, work hard, stay positive. When he knocks you down, get back up. When he digs you a hole, claw your way out. And when he puts a mountain in front of you, you climb it. And when you're standing at the top, arms stretched out towards the sky, you'll realize that what you feared as your enemy, you have come to love as your teacher, making you stronger, making you fearless. Am I afraid of the boogeyman? Heck no. Bring it on.